Oh, great. I've reached that point in life where I have my sunglasses on my face and my reading glasses on my hat. This is a milestone, you know. Kind of rock that look, don't I? Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, go on a little road trip and have a little fun. I promise today we're going to have uh, some action. I don't know, I'm over-promising. We'll be back. So some of you might be asking yourself, why is that goofy SOB so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and all just fired up and full of piss and vinegar? And well, I mean, I got my beard trimmed. I mean, I did it myself, but it trimmed back the honey badger that lives on my face. And, and I just, I look pretty, you know? I know you see it out there. Don't tell me you don't see it. Yell, I see it! <laughs> uh, so I got a call last night that my beloved RV, one of the most wonderful pains in my life, is ready to be picked up. So some of you are doing the math right now if you watch every video, because I did a video about hitching up and, and whatnot when I pulled it up to... Uh, St. Lucie, Port St. Lucie, where the, I don't know where the hell I'm going, Gander Mountain in like the Port St. Lucie area, pulled it up there, I feel like it was like a month ago, I do, I feel like it was almost, almost a month ago, if not a month ago that I pulled it up here, uh, because it had multiple things wrong with it that needed to be handled under warranty, one was it, a water kind of came inside up front, it's not supposed to do that if you didn't know, it's not supposed to have an indoor water feature, but mine did in the closet um, because a seal had given way. Uh, that took a while, so it's not Gander Mountain's fault. Let me say that first. This Gander Mountain's been fantastic. My service advisor's name's Kelly, and she's she's awesome, man. Like, she's professional and, anyway, just got it under control. So she called me to say that they had denied my claim because after 90 days of ownership, it's my responsibility to maintain the seals on the roof. Some of you who are RVers out there going, eh, I've heard that before. Some of you are RVers are going, are you freaking kidding me? 90 days? And then those of you who are not RVers are saying, let me get this straight. You give them 60 grand and they only warrant that water ain't going to come inside through the roof for three months. Basically, that's what Heartland tried to tell me was that the roof has only warranted the seals for 90 days. I disagreed. Mrs. Monkey disagreed. And uh, her profession made that an easier disagreement to make and uh, after about a week or two and a couple social media posts later they they came to see it my way <laughs> thank god and they and they uh, uh, did the roof thanks for some of you out there some of you gave me the advice to tell let say like you say 90 days but I don't know how long that sucker sat on a lot before I bought it so how can you say 90 you know what I mean so it was it was some great help from some of the viewers out there but we got it done so now I'm heading up into what looks like a freaking hurricane to pick up the, uh, the the fuel. Wind is blowing, so it's gonna be an adventure coming home. You know, a 40 mile an hour wind, crosswind, when you're pulling a 36 foot long, 13 foot high trailer is, is an adventure. I mean, it's exhilarating, so we might be doing that. Uh, the other big thing I'm excited to reveal, let's have a conversation about toilets. <laughs> So RV toilets are plastic. Same thing as in a boat, you know, if you guys got a cabin cruiser or something. And even if you're not a big dude, I am a big dude, but even if you're not a big dude, it's just not a reassuring feeling sitting on a plastic toilet that goes and, and flexes and moves. And it's not a nice way to be for me, Mrs. Monkey, even many monkeys like this toilet's weird. Um, so I went ahead and ponied up to have that swapped out for Dometic um, uh, porcelain toilet which is the dumbest but most fabulous upgrade you can do to your RV. Uh, I asked Kelly when they had it up there, I was planning on doing it myself for the longest time and time and laziness got in the way. And I said, what would that cost? And she said, well, the toilet's only like two and a quarter, um, which is high, but everything RV is high. Um, and she said, we'll put it in for about $130 all in. And I said, tree fitty, quoting South Park, tree fitty. To replace the toilet with a porcelain one, yes, <laughs> let's do that. You know, so that's for me $130 to have someone else handle taking out a, to a plastic toilet, put it in a 
that seemed like a deal to me, you know, like, I don't know. And I'd be willing to bet this Gander Tech did a better job installing the new one than the factory did putting in the plastic one. So we'll see about that. But I'll check in when we get there. Another thing I'm going to look at when I get to Gander, Gan, Gander, 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 is whether or not I might amazingly put my hands on a box of 12 gauge shells. Now, most of you are laughing hysterically out there because 12 gauge shotgun shells are just elusive these days, right? They, they're just gone. I don't, I don't know if everyone thought they were gonna shoot COVID with a 12 gauge double lot buck or you know what they thought was gonna happen, but they are gone. I know, I know being serious, I know a lot of the factories that produce ammo got shut down and stuff for a while and, and I don't even know if they're back online yet, but I sure as hell would like to own more than 10 shells of shotgun shell, uh, 12 gauge for my, uh, for my pump. Um, so we're gonna see when I get there whether or not they may have a, a, a box. I know they'll have five million boxes of bird shot, turkey shot, blah, 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 blah. But I just like to put bigger holes in things and I just wanna see if maybe by some amazing chance they might have one. So we'll check in in a bit. See ya for now. All right, so I just uh, pulled up to Gander and I think, I think they cleaned the rig. I'll be damned. So, I told you Kelly's good, but I mean, the rug seems like it's been rolled up nicely. My recliners are nice and straight, which I know I didn't leave them that way. Look at everything's kind of nice and piled up. That looks like they, I wouldn't call it a detail, but she looks like she's been freshened up a bit, so I really appreciate that. But let's see the turlet. Do, do, do. Woo. How luxurious. New throne and all that. And, yeah, that's exciting. So that's the Dometic 320, I think. 310, sorry, the 310. And the bowl's bigger, and again, it's an actual porcelain toilet that, you know, you're not gonna feel like you're in a glorified tent when you're using the facilities. I know that might be a stupid thing to show, but that, that's a nice upgrade. So, um, yeah, so let's go inside and give them some money, and uh, then we'll go walk through Gander and see if there's anything cool we have to have. There'll be something, I'm sure there'll be something. in it. It's cool. And again, fits, fits in that seat. Like many monkey would, that's about it. This is pretty cool too. This thing's six grand by the way, the little orange guy. Six thousand bucks. Is it like a golf cart? I don't know. But that's pretty cool too. How much fun could you have that at the Buffalo Chip? <laughs> or this. This would be great, right? Fat guy on a roller skate. you guys with this island the whole thing just feels a bit shitty <laughs> I know it's a cheap joke but it's that's that's how my brain works so look at all the shatubi accessories man all these things the goal is to keep you from getting crap on your hands <laughs> and nonetheless it's going to happen at some point <laughs> hate being a fat man so um everything's fine paid for the toilet um got that all done it was a little more than i thought it was going to be i was a hundred dollars off i could swear i was told 380 on the phone but it was 480 in person 
and knowing me i'm like i, I you know i don't that woman's not a liar she's nice as hell so she's like no it's always been 480 i'm like oh, well whatever so it wasn't the bargain i thought but i'm still happy so whatever so i did something that i always preach that you should do i actually did it and it just saved my rear well could have is i was hitching on and i was like you know what i have not checked those tires in a while <laughs> <laughs> and I keep a, uh, a pan a pancake compressor in the bed of my truck just for that just for the, the just for the trailer tires because those suckers are leaky like I swear to God they're made out of friggin a laundry basket or something but um, I checked them and they were at 64 pounds so those run at 80 on this rig because of its size and weight so they were 15 pounds low and that's a lot of sidewall sway also a lot of heat and that's what causes blowouts so and those it, this rig still has China bomb tires on it like just crap tires that come from the factory uh it's going to cost me a thousand bucks to put goodyear uh endurance proper premium trailer tires on it i'm going to do that in june or july before i hit the road um so i'm not going five thousand miles i did it last year i did five thousand miles on those cheap chinese terrifying tires and they didn't blow but i'm not going to try it for a second time um so that'll be june july so i did air up the tires on the rig all to 80 pounds and then on a whim i checked the truck and and i it, had it serviced at the dealer not that long ago and they dropped the pressures down to factory which is not where i want them for pulling this rig so i pumped them up to 75 on the front and 80 in the rear those of you out there with half ton trucks don't freak out that's that's normal three-quarter ton truck stuff these are 80 psi tires so i run 75 in the front and 80 in the rear when there's that much weight on the ass uh just to, again stop that sidewall sway it helps with trailer sway all that stuff so Let's head home. I didn't buy anything. Went into the store and didn't buy it. Didn't have any shotgun shells. I knew that was going to be the case. Um, so I was good today. Mrs. Monkey will be happy. Didn't buy a gun or nothing. Only because they didn't have anything I wanted. Uh, so I'm going to shut off the camera and concentrate on what I'm doing unless I think of something important to say. And then we'll, uh, we'll document the backing the trailer into the spot, I think. If there's no one there, then there's no issue. But if there's a bunch of rigs on both sides, it could be creative fun. All right, so talk to you in a bit.